what is good boys and girls welcome back into the youtube channel and welcome back into the world of starfield been having a lot of fun with this game guys i don't want to bore you too much with the intro so let's just go ahead and get right back into it baby all right welcome back boys we are just continuing the main story here looks like all that money can buy is the uh the title of the mission chains and right now we just traveled the neon and we are supposed to talk to walter stroud so we're already uh, in neon we're gonna go see what walter has to say probably have another mission for us is what i'm thinking see any loot in here though mm. wait a minute what is this oh, only 13 could use the ammo i think i'm good on the weapons Ooh, what's this yeah we'll go ahead and get that did you really think you could just walk off with that <laughs> whoops i didn't know that i was stealing it i thought it was just there for the taking my bad so you're telling me i have to Catherine lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder all right let's see where are we supposed to yeah, go right. Hysterical it's like this way look around here you know one thing i haven't really done in the first uh, few parts is kind of like just take a minute to look around and really explore i think i was going about this game a little wrong instead of you know just rushing through the main missions i think you know i think we'll be in store for some more exploration of the game as well the game is just so cool man it, re it really is let's see Looks like we're supposed to be going over here. What are all these places, though? See, one thing I wish is that, like, the map had icons of what these places are. I guess let's just talk to this guy. On something. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Hmm. Good. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't like it, talk to Sticks. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> Alright, that sounds menacing. That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Let me see what you have for sale. Yeah, I feel like this guy's talking entirely too much. I just want to buy something. If you've got the credits, <laughs> I've got what you need. I don't even know how many credits I have, to be honest. Okay, 33,000. That's really not a lot. Let's see what he has. Need a weapon with a lot of damage, bro. Like, a lot. I feel like my weapons right now just aren't, uh, aren't stacking up, you know? All right, let's see. Looks like this one's pretty good. This one looks really good. We'll go ahead and get that one. I think I'm pretty good on ammo for now. I think we're good. Doors over that way. All right, let's go back and focus on the main mission here, boys. All right, here we are. All right, now we're going to the right spot. A little detour. Yo, what's good, boys? You know what time it is. If you follow the channel, you know this is the part of the video where we like to play a little mini game, but we make it more interesting and put a wager on it. So, guys, before I flip this, go ahead and pick in your head if you want to pick heads or tails. Now, the rules are if it lands on what you had originally guessed, you don't have to do anything. But if it lands on the opposite side that you guessed, you have to drop down below. You have to help your boy out and you have to leave a like all right so let's go ahead and let's get it and there you have it if you guys picked heads you are good you don't have to do anything but if you pick tails you know what to do drop down below hit that like button fair is fair baby oh what do we got going on here I'm sure my temper's too talking. 
I don't know what was going on there, but I feel like it wasn't worth getting involved in. What is this? What in good lord of heaven? Look at this thing, bro. Is this a shark? Oh my god. Alright, let's just keep it moving. Oh, I did not know I could climb up that. Location discovered, Neon. Nah, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Let's see, chasm bass. Yeah, Native what is that? Species of fish. Oh, I that might have been what we saw what back there. Okay. They'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. People are getting high off fish. <laughs> Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Hmm. All right, good to know. Let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. All right, nice. So we need to head over this way, it looks like. Is this guy just going to follow me? or I don't know, man. It looks like we're on our own. Yeah, I wonder if that fish that he was talking about is this thing right here. This thing looks mean, but I don't know. It's not doing anything, so I think we're good. All right, let's see where to now. Just want to check some of these places out. So you got the coffee shop right there, but what is this place? Some sort of bank, it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Activate, go to Stroud. There we go. Hopefully we don't run into trouble up here. We didn't know you were coming in. It's oh, he did follow right. me. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake no i'm here about wait a minute a mistake our ship designers are the best in the settled systems they design personal craft and military ships walter large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast oh i'm so sorry here i am arguing with my partner <laughs> and you're just standing right here Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. We're here on Constellation Business. Charms, Miss Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. Yeah, let's let's be nice first, you oh, know. Aren't you lovely, Walter? Wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers. My partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> You should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. All right, let's go about our business here. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. 
This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? So our meeting is at the Astral Lounge. Yeah, let's go a with that. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Investigate the cellar, case the Astral Lounge. Got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Hey, you there we here. go, baby. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. All right, nice. Ask about security. It looks like that's what we got to do next here. Go to the lobby real quick, baby. I do gotta say, guys, the uh, the more that I play this game and the more that I start to begin to understand it a little more to where I can play it better, I do, um... I am starting to really enjoy this game. It is, uh, it's growing on me quite a bit, man. I must say that. Alright, looks like the people we need to talk to are up there, huh? How do we get up there? Go through here real quick. Excuse me, fellas. Howdy. We have plenty of Aurora for your enjoyment. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. I don't do cams. I prefer alcohol. I'm definitely here to try the Aurora. Wait, so is Aurora illegal or not? Uh, let's just go. I prefer alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Well, this guy's really trying to here, upsell me on this. Take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Yes. Yes, you can. I have a meeting here later, worried about security. Yeah, let's get right into it. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Alright, here we go. We're starting to strategize this out a little then bit. I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. All right, I like what you're saying. Persuade. I always feel like you go with persuade, you know? Always a chance it won't work, but we got to try, boys. It's free. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Surely a business like Shroud Uckland already has VIP status. You lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by the Astral Lounge every chance I get. Ooh, that's a little medium risk one right there. You must not get around much if you think anybody would pay that. Hmm... Huh. There we you go. Work okay. for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. I'm sure we can work something out. The lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe. There we, we go, can baby. Nice. Work something out. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Yeah, let's do it. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. All right, looks like we're good here. 
Now we gotta go to the next place. We gotta get out of here. That actually went a lot better than I thought. I did not think I was gonna be able to persuade him. Okay, we gotta get back to the elevator here. To the VIP balcony. Cool little place here. The set design in this game is just uh, pretty incredible, James man. Neal I do gotta say so myself. Back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Oh, what is all this? <laughs> Just walk out of here with steel and everything that they have. That probably wouldn't be the best idea, right? Okay, why did it bring me this way? Oh, here we go. Okay, nice. Oh, I gotta get a pick. Oh, no. Trade authority. This might be what we want to be. We can take it off your hands. Come on, talk. What's going on? Yeah, buying, selling, or moving. There we go. Yeah. Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. <laughs> let's see. Now, that's what I'm talking about. We both want to make some money, so what let be? Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see. Oh, oh, come on, please. He's got to sell these. <laughs> He's got to sell them. Oh, look at these. Look at these space suits, bro. Look at that one. That one's probably the best one. Yes. Give me both of those, baby. Oh, I really want this space suit. Yeah, we're going to get it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to equip it. All right, that's it. Thank you for your service there, guy. Now let's see. Let's go ahead and equip this new space suit. Nice. All right, so we had to kind of go on a little detour there because I didn't have any of those picks. But now... Hold on, where are we supposed to be going? Why did why'd I lose it? Oh, here it is, okay. Go over here. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Sounds like you have a problem with Seaguard's place. Whoa. I'm detecting a bit of competition going on here. A healthy competition is one of the cornerstones of owning a business. Yeah, there we go. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Seagart, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Keeping his place safe sounds like a smart business to me. Let's see. For all you know, he doesn't have a choice. Yeah. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Let's see what he Let has real quick. Why not, you know? Space suits. Oh, man, we just bought one. Okay. Looks like the one we have is better than that anyway, so we're good there. I could use a new pack. 
yeah, let's go ahead and get that. I think we're actually pretty good on uh, on aid. I think I'm good on that. All right, I think we should be good. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. Don't duck my questions. I know the seller came through you. You already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. We're not paying twice. Ooh, that's a risky one. I'm going to do it, though. I don't hey, package what? pieces of intel, but maybe I could... <laughs> Okay, I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Nice. Here we go, baby. All right, now we got to put on that uh, that little pack there. There we are. Nice. All right. Now we're getting some new stuff. Now we got to go back over here. We have the picks now, so we should be able to get into this next little part of the mission. I didn't realize I didn't have any until uh, until I needed them, which was unfortunate, you know? Oh, I hate this stuff. Okay, let's see. Looks like these might oh, it look like it for a minute. There we go. There we go. Oh, this one's going to be the hard one, isn't it? All right, we're off to a good start. There we go, baby. Nice. Remote door control. What is this? Check the door control. Search the seller's sleep crate. Adding New Year's remote door control override. Approved hand signal will allow us. Used to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one time. Okay. This room has been booked by blank. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. All right, I guess that's all the info we needed from there. Now let's go out of here, baby. Back to the elevator. Let's hit the dance floor again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, this pack is way better, yo. No doubt. It just goes so much higher. You know, one thing I really want to do in this game that I haven't had a chance to yet is uh, steal a ship. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that so bad. Hopefully, uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to get the opportunity. Oh, do I go through this door? What is the inaccessible? Hmm. Wait a minute. Bad I can't squeeze any more from these fish. Why is it inaccessible though? Oh, here we go. Another one of these. Oh, this one. I don't like this. This one's looking weird. There we go. Hey, let's go, baby. Personal correspondence O2. I'm not joking, friend. Accept that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious ways and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Correspondence 03. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. What item here? That's number one. You might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but 
what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. Okay. It's all pretty cryptic. Go back out here now, you know. Another elevator there. If you guys have uh, played this game yet, definitely let me know what have you done uh, more of. Kind of just exploring side missions, main missions. I'm uh, curious to know, you know. All right, let's see over here. It looks like. Whoa, look at that. It's just so smooth. I feel like this game's going to get a lot more fun the more you upgrade and the more uh, cool things that you get in your inventory. You know, that's probably when it'll become... Uh, Come its best. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you are doing. I'm fine. The board complains. I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So. You don't need anything from me, then. I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a... I feel like I walked in on a very uh, uncomfortable age. situation here. Oh, don't go on about that again. <laughs> this is awkward. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. Stop thinking of you, wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. I guess we're supposed to get this Never backstory here. Scumbags and scavengers, they're like vultures picking away at the leftovers of the colony. You'll find them scouring through old labs and facilities, taking whatever's not nailed down. All right, now we should be able to talk to him, hopefully. Is Maybe. Ready? It's done. Let's get to this meeting. The Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. All right, go to the Astral Lounge, baby. Sorry, Walter, you are just not moving fast enough. <laughs> Alright, since we're going to hit a little business meeting here, this is what I'm going to do. We are going to go ahead and take off the spacesuit. Get a little more casual, you know. And then we'll go ahead and head on up here. There's Walter right there. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. Use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. All right, let's locate the seller. We got to look for a big bag. There's a bag right there. I wouldn't say that that's overly big, though. This place is insane! <laughs> All right, I don't think that's him. What about this person? I just don't know if that's a big enough bag. Obviously not. Let's see 
where else are there bags at in here? Go check up here maybe real quick. That looks like something of interest right there. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Right on. Talk to Walter. All right, now we gotta go find this guy again. Hey, wanna dance? Where you at, Walter? Hell yeah! This is awesome. Back up to the VIP balcony we go, baby. I wonder what's gonna pop off in this meeting. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about it, though. Move along. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. All right, I guess we gotta grab a seat here. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest yeah here it is well look at that one of a kind and i know you want it i have the amount we agreed on uh-uh things have changed i want double wow How am he I would... supposed to do that i don't know but your security here seems to have some fancy gear why don't they chip in Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. No, you won't. You still need the money. Don't be rash. We can still make this work. Remote trigger the door to close. Uh. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. Instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it <laughs> going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah... Uh. All right, you win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some Head to the entrance. All right, baby, we got the deal done. To Tough home. negotiation, Shall but we? you know what we do, baby. Shall we? Stop right there. Ah. We don't need to do this. Hand over, Miss. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You're gonna make me shoot you. Hmm. I'm listening. You don't know it. Oh, come on. There's no. Oh, come talk. on. That's it. We're done. This is all right. That didn't go well. Is this just a citizen or is that okay we're good all right we're good i thought that might have been a citizen probably want to go here though it's just easier to shoot from the uh the first person you know all right now let's head out let's see what we got to do now it's like we got to talk to her excuse me something's gone wrong hasn't it Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Oh, we got a glitch. Been impounded at the spaceport. 
There goes our way out. We need to get Slayton off of our backs. Look at this glitch right here. Am I supposed to be all the way back here? Let's see. So much for this being easy, Walter. Who is this Slayton? Yeah, who is this guy CEO anyway? of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. All right. Well, we need to get him off our back, right? Wait, have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Walter Stroud is now following you. All right, go to Slayton Aerospace. All right, looks like we go down here. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc, me. Anything better get us back. All right, let's go ahead and talk this person here. Talk to Doc Manning. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Persuade. Yep. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I'm afraid I don't really care. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. There we oh, go. I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. All Just right, that was elevator. easy. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, where's this elevator at? Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Ah, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. Oh, nice. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Guessing it's this thing. Nice. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end. Past the fork. Whoa, what do we have here? We got a hammer. Oh, a dog, a digipick, yes. I don't know why I said dog, that was weird. Coffee bag, I don't really need none of that. Now we got an issue, oh wait, no we don't. There we go. Guessing I'm supposed to go this way, it's the only way open. What is that? Alright, let's go, baby. Left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. But don't go through the door? Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, stretch across to the door. Look at this guy, he's already in here. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight. Oh, my lord. Oh, yo. Look at this gun. Yo, I think I found a great gun right now. We're losing. This is bad. 
All right. We just got to keep going, I'm guessing. Hold on. Let me see what other guns do I have. Go ahead and switch to this one. I just don't want to waste all the ammo in that one. You know what I'm saying? All right. This, we're in a bad move here. All right. Looks like we're still good on health. What gun is that? Where is this guy at? Hold on. Come on, buddy. Don't play me. <laughs> what is all this? Nice. Come on, baby. Alright, let's see. What gun does this guy have? I don't think he's gonna have anything, uh, anything good. Alright, which way am I supposed to be going? Okay. Oh my lord in heaven! Okay, here we go. Take some of that. Take some of that, baby! Is that of interest? That is not of any interest to me, no. Get some more health in us. Looks like we maybe go through here. There's the door. It should take you outside. Wait a minute. To climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that keep directly up one floor to the executive level. Just kind of well, seeing what's in here. See, I think we go through here, if I'm not mistaken. Not real sure how to get all the way up here. Oh, here we go. Nice. Keep following this. Let's see, where am I at here? All right, somehow we went the wrong way. Where is it at? Oh, what is that? Let's go, boys. Sorry I had to do it to you. Nice. I feel like now maybe is a, a good time to uh, put my spacesuit back on. Let's get some, uh, let's get some armor back on, you know. All right, confront Slate, and let's see. We gotta find him first. I wonder what happened to my other gun that I put in here. I really kind of want to try that. Looked like a. Uh, Right here, it looked like a revolver. Oh, I only have one bullet in there. Come on. What type of nonsense is that? You are coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> I'll off your guard, Slayton, and release my ship. Yeah, we need that ship back. I'm sorry. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. You and Walter are business people. Some arrangement can be made. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? 
Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Decide, as in we could let him go? He's a thief, let the authorities deal with him? Hmm. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense hmm. in Talk to Musgrove. All right. To Gotta go talk to this guy job. now. Oh, wow. He doesn't look very good. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. He wants me to decide what to Please. do with you. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Yeah, we'll let him go. Why not, you know? I... Thank you. I feel like he's a suffered enough. Moment of Look at this guy. He's inside the wall. Very well. <laughs> I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What a bug. Let's talk more back at the ship. I gotta tell you guys, I have actually uh, experienced a lot more bugs. Um, this time playing it more than I've ever seen before, so. Yeah, we're taking all of that. Rare item acquired. Hold on a minute. What was that? Oh, a rifle? Yes. Hold on a second, my guy. Go ahead and put that in there. How many credits do we have, too, by the way? I don't know if it'll tell me. Okay, it won't tell me. Still don't have a skill point. I've been waiting to get one of those for a minute. All right, looks like we can move on now. Got to go back to the ship, it says. We got the ship. Here we go. Let's go ahead and board. Now we go to the captain's chair. Let's see. Research station. I want to see what this is. I haven't even really uh, used this. The research lab that you discover new crafting recipes by completing research project. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw materials extracted from planets to organic substance. Substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life, too. Okay. Weaponry. What can we do? Hmm. Not really sure what that did there, but... Alright, nice. Hit the pilot seat, you know what I'm saying? see here i want to go over here real quick let's see kind of where our next mission is talk to walter okay it's like we're just gonna stay over here to talk to walter where is walter is he on the ship hold on i want to see what the main mission is maybe that's not even the main mission yeah talk to walter he's got to be on the ship with me i would think right
guess. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with the constellations, the star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Nice. All right, that was us talking to Walter. Take off from Neon. No contraband on ship, thank God. Oh boy. That's not any type of ship I recognize. That is a cool ship. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. Hmm. A sentiment that is shared by my kind about you. We're not the ones making threats. Your moral grandstanding is hollow, as is your position. Make up your mind, or we will act. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on. Come on, baby. We got to go. There we go. Come on. Grab jump. Baby, grab jump. <laughs> we do not want to mess with this guy. All right. I think we got out of there. Thank goodness. Scan in progress. No contraband on ship, so we should be good. All right, back to New Atlantis, boys. This does seem like a uh, a good part to uh, end this video on. We finished the uh, into. Okay, what was that mission called? Oh, all that money can buy. We finished all of that, so we're good there. And it looks like next time we will be starting. Starborn. So we'll see what that's all about. Talk to Noel. We've survived an encounter with the Starborn. We need to head back to the lodge and tell everyone what happened. So that is what we will be doing on the next part. Along with, I would like to do some uh, some more exploration. I know on one of these videos, I want to take you guys uh, to Earth in this game, kind of see what that looks like. I've heard from people that it looks uh, way different than it is now. So definitely want to go and check that out when we have a chance. But like I said, guys, that'll be it for this video. And uh, until next time, stay safe out there.